Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropical 3 Absolute Power. Alright, let's move on to the next mission of the Absolute Power campaign, which is La Chupacabra. Term of office 20 years again. What can you do on an island that will never have great industry or good tourism? Start a legend, of course. Invent a mythical monster that will bring hordes of tourists to your shores. Be wary of cults and chickens. Our no mission objectives make the tourists believe in La Chupacabra. Which is, I understand, it is some sort of uh, Middle American mythical beast, equal to the Sasquatch, in that it doesn't really exist. Alright. What would fit well for someone who's trying to start up trouble? Yeah. Let's be military. Military dark glasses. Good. Look forward. Alright, that's that's silly enough. Alright, background. What do we want? Well we want to be able to get the most of our tourism industry of course but yeah I don't know that I don't know for sure that's that is the best way of going about things mm, no that's not really necessary I'm not gonna be really having any real industry I'm using real way too much mm, this will work silver spoon uh, let's have a what would be fine? Yeah, that must be a religious appointment. Right, let's uh let's be a financial genius with a green thumb. Since we're not really gonna after factories, that's not that that's not the bad. Well, let's be a compulsive gambler this time around, and an alcoholic. Alright, here we are. No opening splash screen. So, what do we have? We have no corn, no bananas, no papaya, no pineapple, no coffee, no tobacco, and no sugar. This is basically because there's no farms on the island, which is a bit of a problem. Because if I don't have any farms, my people will starve. I already have a museum, which is fine. Do I have? Do I even have any educated people? Nope. So the museum is not going to do anything. Well, for tourism, the beaches are probably the most convenient. Uh, let's see, beauty. Yeah, the beaches are beautiful. Very beautiful. And there's many beaches. That we can make beautiful love with. I am overusing that now. Alright. We ah. interrupt this program for an important announcement. Wake up, people! You are being deceived and brainwashed by the lies of the oppressive regime you call government. My name is Betty Boom. Follow me, and I will show you how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. Alright, there's barely any oil, hardly any bauxite, and the iron. It's just not worth it, really. I'm gonna mine the iron, That's there's no doubt about that, but there's just so little of it. Still, I have a decent amount of bank, so that's alright. Alright, let's, uh, let's begin with the basics. Now, I will be getting lots of food in other ways, but for now I really want some corn farms. And prefer I'd prefer really some decently producing corn farms. Right, is there anything else that grows in this area? Not really. Alright, then we'll just put down a few corn farms over here. Now, 
also put down an iron mine over here. And let's get the uh, immigration office going. Because we'll need loads of people, and preferably people uh, with no education at all, because that's fine for tourism. Uh, as far as tourism goes, we have nothing prepared. So that's well. I still have a little bit of money left over. Let's go... Let's get the bauxite mine set up. It's a bit out of the way, and it's not really going to yield us that much. But it's necessary for starting capital. What is it now? Good day, Presidente. I'm sorry you lost that bet and had to govern this island. The capabilities for industry are not great, and our island is not that beautiful, so we can't catch many tourists. <sighs> of course, I have a plan to deal with this situation, but it requires bold, cunning moves your predecessor could not pull off. And that is fine, Penultimo. And let's also get some ranches going. Just regular cattle ranches will do. For now, that's really the only thing I can get... Oh, not for that. The only food I can get going. As well as the Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah, starting on an island with no food is not really funny. That's... Tragedy. That's a tragedy, really. In order to boost our tourism, we could rename the island to Ila Monstruoso, when we will invent some kind of monster. La Chupacabra sounds Latino enough, and South America is just next door. We will say it was transported with a cargo plane from the Andes. Hmm, that is a good plan. It's not that great a plan. Right, national debt, that's fine. And we'll just set up a little bit of uh, roadway into the touristy area. And I'll make it the circuit so that the cars have a way of getting rid of themselves. And we'll have to wait for some money to flow in before I can actually do anything really useful since uh, let's see in order for our scam to work we will need to have a large group of tourists who believe they have seen the monster then the story will be blow up and the whole world will know of our island first we must build a lot of goat ranches when the tourists are near the farms some of them will mistake a bush for the monster and start believing make sure you have goat ranches near the attractions and hotels Everywhere there are going to be tourists. Of course, we will have to make the goats disappear, so you can't export them. But that's of little importance. And the goat ranches convert nearby, nearby tourists. And the price for goat stuff went down. Let's see. Uh, pork is Nice. How about for llama wool? That's bad. I'm not going to bother with llama wool then. Uh, beef. But smoked beef. It's also not that great. Alright, how is the prospect for anything? Um, well, getting a few tobacco farms would help, I think. It wouldn't be terrible. Of course, I still need a farm operational. Right, one new immigrant. That's terrible. 
It really is. Tropico is spiraling into debt as the money in the national treasury has been depleted. If measures are not taken soon, the financial situation on the island may deteriorate rapidly. Right. Well, at least the ranches are now starting to make food and money. A little bit. And your gambling has cost us money, that's fine. Alright, let's get started on the touristy stuff. And let's get a few, no, not those, a few tobacco. Let's see, what's tobacco worth? It doesn't have to be much, it just has to be enough to actually make some money. I mean, weapons would be really good. And let's get the... That's... Uh, the USSR development aid and let's get well, let's get at least one and well, let's get a tenement Right, five new immigrants. Presidente, things are moving much too slow. We need something big. Let's have a person disappear and say he's been to Chupacabra's lair. I know just the man. He says he sees mythical creatures all the time. We just need to tell him what the, cre what the monster looks like. Okay, Presidente, let's cover the basics first. What is the color of, the La, Ch of La Chupacabra? Uh, yellow. Yeah, scary, eh? Alright, let's see. Um, we need a few ranches, at least, uh, that can do goats. Alright, let's have... Let's see, I could fit it in just a moment ago. There it is. Let's have a ranch there. And... Put another goat ranch here. And that's pretty much all the money I have available. The story is spreading. We'll receive more from our tour office. People going on tours are more likely to believe in La Chupacabra from now on. Also, don't forget about the goat ranches. We need loads of them. The tour office will convert to Today tourists. we That's have a fine. special weather report from El Presidente himself. He predicts the night will be calm, starry and sunny. Remember that our Presidente is always right, even when he's wrong. Right, uh -huh. Some people are protesting. Let's see if we can do something about that. What is it now? As soon as I've got some basic industry going, I will get enough money to cover starting up the tourism industry. Is 
There's no church. Yeah, I know that. Alright, let's get at least one hotel. And... The... Oh, I can't afford anything. Darn. Alright, they'll have to wait. A hotel built. The people are asking more questions about La Chupacabra. We need to give them more detail. What is the color of Chupacabra's eyes? Black as night. You can give it any color you like, it doesn't matter that much, it's just personal preference in this case. Still don't have any educated people on the island. That's gonna be a problem. Alright. Presidente, no nobody believes our eyewitness. They say he just saw a chicken and thought it was La Chupacabra. Chances of a tourist believing in Chupacabra have decreased. Ah. Well, that is a pity. I need more goat ranches. You know, they're not going to be profitable, profitable anyway, so... And since we don't have any tourists on the island anyway... Alright, no spending allowed again. Just need a good influx of people. Starting without any educated people at all, aside from the few soldiers I have, that's really unfortunate. I'll just have to let some buildings finish building. Let's see, four more months until I can get the aid office. The people have even more questions. What is the size of Chupacabra's teeth? Mm. Inch and a half. Is that big? As big as coconuts. It is yet another beautiful day here in Tropico. The sun is shining bright and the water is warm. If you are not taking part in any back-breaking labor activities, grab a swimsuit and come to the beach. Right. Uh, let's get a few educated people. And get the school going if I can. Nope, I cannot. Uh, recent disputes of what teeth the size of coconut means have greatly increased the business of our pubs. The profits of all pubs are increased and some tourists will start believing in the monster by listening to the wild stories told there. Pubs will convert tourists to believers. Well, good. Good. But we'll have to continue this next time.